Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got the CLA 45 AMG in for a Remus Sports Exhaust and a Stage 1 ECU remap. Um, before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell, and then you won't miss when any of our new videos go live. And obviously, if you like the video, then give us a thumbs up as well. Okay, so we're doing a Stage 1 ECU remap and the Remus Sports Exhaust. Um, so obviously we're dynoing the vehicle standard, so measuring the standard output, then optimizing like ignition, fueling, boost, all the other maps inside the ECU, for the standard hardware that's fitted and then um, comparing the power to the stock and then stage one after and then also fitting the Remus sports exhaust and um, yeah so we're going to get the car in the workshop and then walk you through the process. Okay, so we've got the CLA45 AMG up on the ramps, we've got the factory exhaust system removed behind us, and we've got the Remus non-resonated cat back out here in front of us. Uh, cat back, so it means that it fits on this car from the downpipe back, so it leaves the factory cat in place. So it doesn't modify any of the emission control systems, so it's still fully um, road compliant, MOT compliant. Um, this system comes with valves. The factory exhaust only has one valve, whereas this one has two valves on it. And basically um, what it allows the exhaust, is, or exhaust flow to do is when these are closed, it forces it to go through the silencer fully or through the baffles fully. And then when the valves are open, it allows it to basically bypass the baffles. So you get like a really big difference between the valves being open and the valves being closed. Um, being a non-res system, it hasn't got a center silencer in it. The, the factory system has actually got two center silencers in it. So we're basically removing two of the smaller silencers and installing an upgraded back box as well. And then this particular customer has opted for the Remus sound control. And so something we've got to install into the vehicle in addition to this uh, exhaust system. Um, so basically allows the customer to use a button from inside the car to open the valves, close the valves, and then also to control the sound on his phone as well. And we'll show you all those features a little bit later on. Okay, so we're on the dyno after installing the Remus exhaust system and the Stage 1 ECU software. Um, so you've already heard the exhaust on the dyno, so it's quite a big difference compared to what it was earlier on this morning. Um, and later on in the video, we'll see we'll compare it directly to the standard exhaust system and the Remus uh, with all the different valve controls and stuff. But for now, we've got the graphs behind us comparing the um, cars that arrived this morning and then also with the Stage 1 ECU software. So you can see considerable difference all across the rev range. Um, so the graphs behind me, we've got the blue lines, which are the torque, and then the red lines, which are the horsepower. And then the dotted lines is how the car arrived this morning. And then the solid lines is what the car is now after having the Stage 1 software and the Remus exhaust system. I'm just going to run you through the figures. So standard, the car came in this morning with around about 366 horsepower and about 347 foot-pounds of torque. 
Now once with the Stage 1 ECU software and the Remus exhaust, we're hitting just over 400 horsepower, I think it's about 401 horsepower and about 425 foot-pounds of torque as well, so considerable difference. Um, the car also now makes standard power, so standard horsepower around about 4,500 RPM and everything above that. Obviously, you've got a massive increase. Um, peak gains within the rev range, you're seeing about another 70 horsepower, or the maximum gains within the rev range, sorry, you're seeing around 70 horsepower and about 70 foot pounds of torque. So it's going to be a massive difference to drive. And then um, we're going to do the exhaust comparison in a second and let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to watch other videos of ours that YouTube thinks you'll like, then click up here. If you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist, then click here. And obviously, if you enjoyed the video, then we'd really appreciate if you gave us a subscription. Um, and then obviously, you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live. And you can do that quite easily by clicking here. Hope to see you soon.